Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to do a little bit of science and we're going to look at the water cycle. Now most of you will be aware of what the water cycle is, but for those of you that don't know what it is, it's the process whereby water goes up and it comes back down again. Okay, so I'm going to show you a couple of little clips to help explain that. The water cycle is up... No, hang on, not that kind of cycle. And what's that you got there? A shrink ray? Right, go on, into the sea with you. So, the sun heats up water in the sea, rivers and lakes and turns it into water vapour through evaporation. Then, that water vapour rises into the air. As it rises into the sky, the water vapour begins to cool and condense into water droplets, forming clouds. Whoa, that looks comfy. The clouds in the sky are moved around by the wind. As the water droplets get heavier, they fall out of the clouds as snow, hail or rain, which is called precipitation. Rain that falls on the land collects in lakes and rivers, which take it back to the sea, and the whole process, yep, begins again. Whoop, bye then! The sun's energy warms up lakes and seas, causing the water to evaporate from the surface and from plants. The vapor rises into the colder regions of the atmosphere, where it condenses and forms clouds. The condensation occurs on the surface of small dust particles found in the air. Clouds may be composed of water droplets and ice crystals. The wind blows clouds and vapor towards land where the formation of further clouds begins. The condensed water droplets start to grow. When they reach a size that prevents them from remaining in the air, they fall in the form of rain. Rain clouds are dark in color and hang low, while large storm clouds are anvil-shaped. When the temperature is above zero degrees Celsius, it rains. When it falls below zero, it snows. A part of the rain or snow seeps into the soil, while the rest flows into surface waters. Rivers carry the water into lakes and seas, and so it returns to the starting point, where the process starts all over again due to the effect of solar radiation. So essentially what all this means is that any of the water, whether it's the ocean, a lake, a river, any of that water there, when the sunlight hits it, um, and it starts to heat up, it starts to evaporate, which means that it turns into vapour, which is a gas-like state. And you can see from these orange arrows, it's heading up towards the sky. When it heads up towards the sky, it starts to cool down because it's colder, and that's what we call condensation. And that turns it back into a liquid, which is what helps form the clouds. The wind, which are these blue arrows, you can see pushes the clouds along towards the land, and once they pick up enough vapour, they become really, really heavy. And then it starts to come down as either rain or if it's cold enough, like you can see over here, it comes down as snow. This water then comes down and it can form lakes, rivers, and it can go back into the ocean or it can land on the soil or the grass. And sometimes it can run off that, okay, which is what we call runoff, funnily enough. Sometimes though, it can seep in to the ground though. And you can see here, we can see the, uh, the water traveling underground and making its way back to the ocean. When that all happens, the whole thing starts again with the sunlight hitting the water, whether it's the ocean, the rivers or the lakes, evaporates, condensates, and then it comes back down, which is what we call precipitation. And the whole thing just loops and loops and loops in a cycle. Okay, so what we want you to do is in your home learning packs, you'll have a sheet that looks like this and we want you to fill it in as best as you can and you can colour it afterwards, make it look super pretty, okay? But there are three key words that you will have on there. There will be precipitation, evaporation and condensation. Evaporation is where the water heats up and is turned into a gas and that becomes the vapour. Condensation is where that vapour has cooled down and then becomes a liquid again, turns it into kind of the water. And then precipitation is where the water or the snow comes back down. So when you finish that, there's a little experiment that I'd like you to have a little go at, if you can. So have a look at the video and see if you can do it. Hello, I'm Jared, back with another demonstration experiment on the water cycle. And this is pretty cool. We're going to do the water cycle in a baggie. We're going to make it rain inside this bag. Really cool. 
So the shorter baggies can work, but I find the bigger baggies, the Ziploc baggies are the best. You want a nice clean seal and you want some space for that water cycle to happen, that evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and accumulation to happen. So I'm going to draw a design on this and I'm just using a Sharpie marker so it doesn't come off. I'm going to draw a sun because that's what powers it. Nice smiley face sun. It's beautiful. I could draw some clouds if I want to. I could draw some ocean waves. Really simple design. Now let's make the water happen. So I'm going to open the baggie, fill it just a little bit with water, trying to keep it off the edges as much as possible. You can see that's all the water I want. It's going to actually be hanging on a window. So if it's heavy, it might actually fall down. Now, you can keep the water in clear, but I find it's really neat if you add food coloring because that's where the magic happens. When the water evaporates and condenses on the side, it's cool to get kids to hypothesize what, what color that water is going to be. So be careful it doesn't splash up on the sides. Just put a few drops of food coloring and you can make it as dark or as light as you want. And I want to seal this up. Make sure it's not open or else the evaporating water will get out of the baggie. So let's hang this on the window and see it in action. Okay, here we are back in Jared's classroom. As you can see, we have a number of these bags just taped up with masking tape on a window. And it's really fun for the kids to watch them during the day. Uh, this is a sunny day, so already the evaporation is occurring and we have water droplets on the side of the bags. One of the things that's really interesting to note, the blue water, only the water is evaporating, so the dro water droplets themselves are clear. You could ask the kids to uh, hypothesize why that is. So now we're going to zoom in on one of the bags here with the smiley face sun, and we're going to see if we can make it rain in the bag. We're just going to tap gently on the bags to see if a few of those drops that are on the side will kind of get together and fall down. But using the water cycle in a bag is really a fun way for kids to see the water cycle in action to really understand it. We're tapping there and you can see a little bit starting to rain inside the baggie. Water cycle in a bag. Thanks for watching. So now that you've watched the video, we'd love to see if you can actually do that experiment. And if you do, send us some pictures and some videos and tell us what you found out about it. And now, just for your entertainment, I've put um, one of my songs on the end of this, all about the water cycle. is the key. The water rises high because it's thinner. It's vapor now you see. The fact the liquid as it cools and clouds form. Condensation is the key. So round and round it goes. It's in a cyclone. Going up and coming down. It's an ability. Round and round it goes. It's in a spiral. Going up and coming down. Creates ability. It's They move along, but when the wind blows, they gather more, you see. As they collect the droplets and the cloud grows, it starts to get heavy. The water falls with rain and slow and sleep now, precipitation is the key. The water falls on top of hills and mountains, into the rivers and the streams. So round and round it goes, it's in a cycle, going up and coming down, it's an ability. Round and round it goes, it's in a spiral. Coming down for your stability It's my world Round and round it goes, it's in a spiral 
Going up and coming down to the Philippines. Yes, my world.